Hello everyone, so today I'm going to take a look at this DIY clock. So this is pretty cool since it looks like you just assemble it onto the wall and it comes in multiple pieces. So it doesn't have one frame and everything is attached to it. It's more of like each number has to be stuck onto the wall or at least that's what it looks like. So there's some instructions and we're just going to go and open a package. Got my scissors. Try to cut open the tape. Oh wow. Instruction, okay. This is the actual clock. So this is what's gonna rotate. And these are the numbers. So it's supposed to be this way. Another attachment. Oh, this is for the concrete wall. So you can hammer it into your wall. And some more of these things. And all the dials. Here are the hands. And it also comes with this template. So you know how to assemble it. I guess you can choose the distance. It says 5 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So you can have a really big clock, but then the hands will be farther. So I guess it will be less accurate if you tell the time all the way over there. Or you can have a smaller clock. So I'm probably going to make a small clock like over here. And this rotates so that you can make sure that is the same distance all the way around the circle. So we just put it in like that and that's how we're gonna do it. Before I make a hole to my wall, I wanna see if it works. So I have this battery that's used, which I just use for testing things. And let's put it inside. How does this work? Plus, minus. Okay. Do I hear anything? Oh, I guess I need to remove this first. Pretty satisfying. So as you can see, it's very shiny. It almost looks like a mirror. So we're just gonna put this hand like that. Looks like I kind of bent it. And I think these are actually made of metal. Let me see. Let me... They're not magnetic, but I think they're actually made of metal. They're not plastic since pretty durable. So that hand and then this hand. Okay. Make sure they're not hitting each other. And we also have this hand. So this is the thinnest. It feels pretty fragile. And I guess this is the counterweight. Okay, so we got, kind of got to unbend it, it's a bit crooked. So this is what the clock looks like, and it actually looks pretty good to me, as you can see. So I'm going to install it onto my wall. Alright everyone, so I just finished hammering the little attachment piece onto the wall, and I'm going to see if we can hang it. There we go. So I guess that's how the clock is going to look. So as you can see, I'm going to get this piece. I put it in here. And now we can see where to attach things. So I'm going to remove one of these things. As you can see, 10, 11, 12, Roman numeral 12. So this should be at the top. And then we just got to remove this like adhesive and stick it. And this also feels pretty high quality. I think it's made of metal. Okay, so we're gonna measure, say around here, 15 centimeters. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, we wanna tell the time exactly. I just wanna know like what time it is. For example, like 12.30 or around 11. So we're gonna put it right there. 
So that looks pretty good to me. It's in the center. Yeah. And I'm gonna continue with the other ones. So here goes Roman numeral tree. Put around 15 centimeters. There we go. That's not to be exact. Around 15 centimeters. So it should be around here. Doesn't have to be exact, but as you can see, it looks like a clock, right? Let me move the camera a bit. There. And then the last one. Around there. I want to make sure it's level with tree. So that looks pretty level to me. So that's it. And now, we need to attach all of these little pieces that go in between. So you can see how many minutes it is, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and let's see how many there are. One, two, so there's eight. So two, four, six, eight. And we're gonna put two here, two here, two here, and two there. So we're just gonna do it one by one. So let's remove some of the stickers. As you can see, it's very shiny. That's so cool. And I put it here because this wall is a bit dirty, as you can see, so we'll kind of make it look better. Has lots of scratches and stuff. Now my walls are made of wood since this is a divider between rooms. Pretty cool. Set the time so as you can see it's around. Oh, how do we set the time? So we just, yeah, we just twist it like that. Yeah, so it's around somewhere here. Um, and then this is all over there. Nine. So, yeah, it matches the watch. Pretty cool. Now, I also just realized that there are these letters. So T-I-M-E, it says time. And I'm also gonna install those. So that, of course, everyone knows it's a time. Make sure that nobody gets confused. That's the 
final product. Yeah, it's not very aligned. Maybe we can move this. Actually, never mind, that's fine. Time, wow. That looks pretty cool. Let me go off this. Okay, so here's the final result. And as you can see, everything looks pretty spaced out evenly. It looks pretty symmetrical to me. So, we have all of these little, um, I don't know what you call those, but these things. And then, we have the numbers. Pretty cool. So, hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more. And that's for my channel. So, thanks for watching.